Okay, we're going to try problem 318 again, but this time using mesh analysis. And what we're going to try to find is the mesh currents around each of the three meshes that are in this circuit. So I'm going to define the mesh currents as follows. I'll make them all go in the clockwise direction. I1, I2, and I3. And first we'll notice that I1 and I2, if we combine them in the center branch here, they somehow better add up to 5 amps. So basically I1 going down plus I2 going up is equal to 5 amps going up. So maybe minus I1 plus I2 is equal to 5. Okay, where minus is going down. And so um, I2 is equal to I1 plus 5. Okay, or if you want to think about what's going on at this node, I1 is coming in, I, 5 amps is going in, so I1 plus I2, or sorry, I1 plus 5 amps is equal to I2, at least in terms of these two meshes. Okay, and we should also notice that this is actually defines this super mesh. So we have a super mesh right there. This 5 amp source makes I1 and I2 a super mesh. Okay. Alright, so we will now um, take KVL around the super mesh. So, um, one, two, KVL. So I'll start in the lower left corner, and I have four I1 plus two times I1 minus I3, which is the voltage across this two ohm resistor. I1 moving to the right, I3 moving to the left. You add them up, it's I1 minus I3 to the right. Um, continue along the super mesh, plus 2 times I2 minus I3, plus 8 I2 is equal to 0. And then I'll do KVL around the third mesh, which is up on top. And we'll start again in the lower left and go clockwise. So it's minus 10, which is the voltage source here, plus 2I, 2 times I3 minus I2, which is the voltage drop from the right side to the left side of the two over this this two ohm resistor I3 minus I2 plus two times I3 minus I1 which is the voltage drop across this resistor as I move clockwise and that's equal to zero. So now I have three equations. I have this equation which is from the super mesh or relates the mesh currents in the super mesh. I have the KVL of the super mesh and KVL of mesh 3. So three equations should, should solve three unknowns I1, I2, and I3.
and that's it.